Radiation is all around us. We're exposed to small doses every day. So at what point does it become harmful? Dave Malkoff, live in the Cyber Center with that part of the story. Dave. Yeah, when you hear about these things on the news, you hear about them in microsieverts and millisieverts and sieverts. What does that all mean? Well, we put it all together for you in a segment we're calling Understanding Radiation. This is Rolf Sievert. He's the Swedish physicist and pioneer in the area of radiation protection. That's why most of the world measures a dose of radiation in units called sieverts. It's how we know the difference between a deadly level of radiation and your average daily dose. That full body scanner at the airport will give you 0.01 microsieverts. A commercial flight from L.A. to New York brings you up into the atmosphere, exposing you to as much as 40 microsieverts. A microsievert is one million times less powerful than one sievert. People living within 10 miles of the Three Mile Island accident in 1979 were exposed to 80 microsieverts. A chest x-ray, 100 microsieverts. Cosmic radiation beams down double that level to you each year. A mammogram is more than double the cosmic radiation and an abdominal CT scan more than 11 times the mammogram. No, Many people who escaped the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 were exposed to 33,000 microsieverts. Eventually, 4,000 cases of cancer were tied to that Soviet nuclear disaster. A pack-a-day smoker does himself no good. Over the period of one year, he'll be exposed to 80,000 microsieverts. It takes one sievert, or one million microsieverts, over one day to damage bone marrow and organs. Six to ten sieverts will kill a person. Rolf Sievert died of thrombosis after surgery at age 70 in 1966. We're getting so many sources of information from Japan, so you don't know how many sieverts or microsieverts people are receiving around that Fukushima Daiichi plant. So we're just looking for information from there, but that is the information for how sieverts affect you on a normal day basis. Live in the Cyber Center, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Dave Malkoff, thank you. If you have concerns or questions about possible local radiation exposure, you can call a special hotline set up by the Department of Public Health. That number, 916-341-3947. Again, 916-341-3947. That number also on our website, ktla.com.